So, welcome to my little presentation about the MBS FileMaker plugin and especially about the good things which are included in the plugin to en enhance FileMaker. So, the MBS FileMaker plugin is developed now for over 10 years. It's huge. <laughs> we got over 4,000 functions and over 400 example databases. So, if you have a week holiday, Feel free to try them. The plugin comes as just one plugin file, so installation is very easy. It supports Linux, Mac and Windows. It runs on FileMaker Pro, Advanced, Server, so FileMaker Cloud, WebDirect, Runtimes. And as soon as the FileMaker SDK with plugin support is coming, you can use our plugin with iOS. The plugin features a lot of functions, but there are a couple of free items which I want to show you. You don't need to buy a license to use those free functions, but of course we'd love to see you using more of the plugin. So the plugin extends the script workspace on Mac and adds a lot of uh, useful features, and all of those features are optional, and you can disable them, or you can configure them to match your needs. So first we have syntax highlighting. So in 2012 we discovered FileMaker has now syntax colors. So I added them with a plugin for FileMaker 11 to the latest version. As FileMaker has their own syntax colors for 14 and 15, the plugin over white so. The syntax Rules um, are defined by the plugin and you can change them. So you can define for every script step what color it should have. And there's a FM syntax colorizer database included with the plugin with a default rule set and you can change it. So here's a database where you can configure all the colors. And here's the list of the rules. So you can change the colors if you want. For example, uh, for comments, we define different rules to give the comment a different color depending on the first word after the start of the comment. So here we have a different color for to-do items, for normal comments, for bugs. And you can define your own if you want. The plugin also highlights errors. So if you have a perform script step, or perform script on server, or set field step, and the field is missing, or the script is missing, the plugin will turn the line into a red color. Next, uh, the plugin can detect undefined variables. So if a variable name is used in your script and it has not been defined with a set variable line, the plugin will show it as an error in the script, as you see. And if you allow FileMaker to show notifications, we also send you a notification. This way you can find all the well, wrong typed variable names. For the calculation dialog, we also have colors based on the same rule system. So you can see all your well, calculations uh, with color. You can easier spot errors. You can define your own colors for your own custom functions as well as for your own special named <coughs> variables. So you can have a uh, a color for the normal variables and you can have a different color for your special ones so if your special ones don't show the right color you immediately see that they are mistyped. The plugin will highlight uh, errors for brackets so if you have a, a long calculation and somewhere the bracket is missing you will see that other brackets will turn red so you see which counterpart is missing. The plugin can highlight uh, blocks like if or loops. So here, if you click on um, 
one part of the loop, the other parts highlight. This way you can more easily see where a loop is starting, where a loop is ending, where a loop is left. You can change the colors, of course. <coughs> and we have script searching. So there is a little text field on the top right in the script editor where you can enter some text. The plugin will show all lines and the script in a configurable color with a matching text. Of course, we can only search the visible text in, in the script line, so any hidden option is not searched. Also, the plugin uh, highlights the lines on demand, so we don't know exactly if there is something to found. You have to scroll, and as, as you scroll, the plugin will highlight the lines. So you can type it uh, your, your text search into the field, and then you can click through the script and see all the yellow lines. There's also a little um, text field where you can enter a line number and if you press the return key you jump to that line. And the plugin also provides the line numbers for FileMaker 11 to 13. FileMaker 14 finally copied that feature. And we also have relation graph search. So in the relation graph dialog you may often see a lot of table instances um, <coughs> and the plugin adds a little text field on the bottom right where you can actually enter a search term. So we have a drop down menu there for all the names of the tables so you can just pick one from the list, click on it and it's highlighted automatically. You can also type something and the plugin will auto complete your name and the suggestions in the pop-up menu below are filtered so you only see the matching table names. Then you can uh, press return to jump to the item or you can click on one of those choices. And the plugin has a context menu. So whenever you see a uh, table, well, a table view in, in one of the FileMaker dialogs in Windows, you can always use the right mouse key to copy the content of the table. For example, if you have the field list, you get the names of all the fields. We also have a common commands there, like cut, copy and paste, and enable, disable of script steps. So here, if we are in the database definition dialog and we copy the list of fields, we actually get all the field names with types and options. So if you need the list of all the users, all the security definitions, the list of tables, whatever, you can always copy them from the dialog. Then if you select a line with perform script, we can actually find the script name in the line and offer you to jump to the script via plugin context menu. This works for normal perform script, it works for commented out perform script as well as for perform script on server and perform script on server commented out. So you can always easily jump to the script. This works, of course, only if the script with this name is found in, the, in this left area where all the scripts are listed. It does not jump to a different file. So, that's the presentation about the goodies. And